What is up, everyone? This is going to be my Briar Jungle video, and we're going to be doing Briar Jungle <laughs> with the new Briar Jungle skin. As you can see, just a look at these toes. Absolutely flawless. Here we see there's a bit of a level one scrap. We're going to see what we can do here. Kind of join in on the party as well. Couple more autos and yep, that should do the trick. So, uh, <clears throat> and this skin is the new skin for Fire. Honestly, it's a very nice skin. I, I am quite fond of it. I think it's very, very nice. Has cool animations, much better than her other skin. But I prefer the default skin on her in general. This game, I'm starting red buff because of level one ha shenanigans. Generally, I always say, you know, solo Raptors. Also, we're going to be playing in Diamond MMR. So just remember that. <clears throat> For starters, a build, I mean, Blade of the Rune King just seems like the best item on her. So I've just been going for the Blade of the Rune King build recently. And I, I find a lot of... Uh, it, next patch, it's slightly getting adjusted. But in my opinion, I think it's just going to be much better than before. So here we start with E because we're already on the camp. And we're going to just be saving our smite a bit because we can just one-shot this with our next few autos. And with the Blade of the Rune King build, Black Cleaver as well. Or these are like the two core items I just think are very broken right now. I feel like you could fit it in like Eclipse too. But generally, it, it really depends on you how you want to build. Sometimes you can go like Eclipse Blade as well. But personally, I just really like the Blade of the Rune King's first item. Especially in this game, you can see there's a lot of tankier champions. So we're going to get a lot of benefit from the Blade of the Rune King. Maybe if I was against, against more squishy champions, the build could be different. But also... Titanic build still fine. Sometimes you can go Titanic into Blade of the Rune King too. I think it's really strong. But if you just want to be doing a lot of damage, I think you just have to incorporate Blade into your build somehow. So here I'm just kind of full clearing. I mean, I can look for a gank. A lot of summers are down. So this is a situation where it's weird. Where like, okay, I am looking for a level 3 gank. But generally I say full clear till 4. Because that's just general that's usually how you should be playing it. So here I think this guy will run out of his movement speed buff soon so i can just go on her i'm gonna just try to get on her fast to drop her her sort of extra buff actually not strong enough to kill her i was really expecting to be able to kill her there but 80 carries mid lane are just extremely broken but you can see without level four your w really is not that strong so you're not gonna expect to get much going for that here i'm just gonna spike one shot it it's just really hard to keep up the chase with the level 3 W. And that's why I always kind of say, like, you should always go for that level 4 play. Because once you get 2 points at your W, that's a huge, huge difference, in my opinion. And I always find it to be very game-changing. So here, I'm going to be level 4. Now, if, we're, if we went for, like, the mid-kill, I would say your damage is noticeably much higher. I think her level 3 is extremely weak. I feel like a lot of people get baited by her level 3. But really play for her level 4. That's where a lot of your power is. Now that we're level 4, this shenanigans having bought isn't really a concern. I think this guy will try to fight. If he doesn't fight, that's good. I'm going to check Volibear camp timer. He has red buff. So that means he actually started blue side. That's interesting. <clears throat> so here I'm going to just see how Jax is playing the game. What we need from here is Jax to use his counter strike, right? Counter strike is the big ability there. But honestly, without Counter-Strike going, I still think we can kill. What I'm going to do is just kind of Q him. And just drop a ward for the Darius because he's done such a great job. You're doing a good job up there, Darius. And I'm going to just base. Why is it important to base here? There's nothing left top side. So we're just going to base and then play for our bot side jungle. And here we're going to go into Blade. Always get Pickaxe first and use, look for the Dagger. I think these two components together are extremely good. And you want to kind of aim for these two. So because Volibear is on my top side, there is a chance he just solos Dragon. But, you know, realistically, I'm not in a position to really stop that. So I just have to play the map however I think I can play it. I think if he wants Dragon right now, he can get Dragon. I did do Crux. I don't think I can gank bots. So I'm just going to go and just do Raptors then. My goal is Void Grubs. I think Void Grubs are much easier. And you can see he was on the Dragon. It's really hard to fight him on Dragon. Because if I jump over the pit. You know, Volley Bear. You just have to understand what champion you're playing against. Like a Volley Bear. He's a bear. When he's on Dragon, he takes no damage. Because of his W and his E ability. 
So I don't think I want to fight there. Also, because topside looks like there might be a good game for us because, you know, this is a volatile matchup. In this game, it's just a really good game for us to practice, like, ganking top. Because this wave needs to crash, so there is a window where I could go for a gank. Maybe I should have skipped a cam. Maybe, but I think if he gets this guy's ability here, which is what I'm looking for, this is really good now. So here I'm going to go for the W. I just need to get the stun on him, and that should be good. A really simple kill. This is a matchup where, you know, remember we talked about Juggernaut, like top lane versus top laner is really volatile. So here I'm just going to start, because I don't think there's a way for me to kill. But I need to echo to kind of zone. What's actually happening is, I think Bully Bear is just finished red. I don't know if I can kill him. But I do think I can do something here. Doing Raptor is a bit dangerous. You can see there's a war because of the way MF is moving towards me. So you can kind of judge for yourself how vision people, how do people play around vision. Watch when laners start to move a little bit early, you know it's warded. Like there I could kind of feel for it. And it's like an obvious spot to ward, right? Because of how many fights have been around mid. So here my goal is to get a base for the blade, right? I don't really want a base for like a bam scepter. This wave is another, like this is another example. This wave is pushing towards Darius. So I could set up a gank. But I also think Darius is, I don't think it's as good for me to do a play there right now. So, what I'm thinking is, okay, I'll let Darius 1v1. I don't think Bully Bear is topside because I showed that I was topside. And he's actually bot side, so that's good for, you know, just knowing that. So, what I want to do is sort of get a, like an ulti pick, right? So, what do we want to do? This wave, again, needs to push. So, there's a chance Cho'Gath will show here. That's not something I want to go for. There's also a chance MF will go for plates on this tower. So this is this is how you want to kind of aim your R. If she goes for plates, we're going to be ready for that. Right now, it seems like she's very scared. She's actually going top. So what we're going to do is R here. So I R in a direction that I think maybe there's a chance it will hit MF. But realistically, she's going to die anyways now. MF is dead. Okay. And there isn't much going on. You're just farming, really. Like, you should be okay when there's just, like, a slow game. I, I feel like a lot of people don't understand this when you play Briar. Briar is a farm jungler. If you farm and gank when it's good, you're going to be winning so many games on Briar. This skin is very beautiful. I'm just noticing a lot of the animations. And I really... The first item spike, like in League of Legends right now, this first item spike is... It it just feels like it's the strongest it's been, it feels like it's been in a while. So here I do have the blades. This is where like I could get a good base angle. And the difference in damage is just insane Like when you have the blade. And the reason why I think the first item spikes are much stronger than before, it's mostly because they've nerfed a lot of the components. That now the components, when you have them, don't feel that good. But when you complete it, you get effects like just huge value from like an item like blood. Also, they're buffing for melee champions the percent health damage. It's 9% for melee attacks. It's going to be 10 next patch. So that's really good. They are nerfing some AD attack speed. But overall, it's a net win for like, you know, melee champions because you have on hit effects to keep proccing that damage. So this is, the, this is your goal early game right now. And I know a lot of people like Titanic Hydro build. And I'll tell you, it's fine. Just go blade into Titanic or titanic into blade and this is where if i get on someone like the mf if there's no ward here like i can just easily kill her like right now you just jump on her and you can see the damage of blade you want to flash over should die to that i'm gonna go on him now that i have echo here and very simple right the blade damage is insane like, it, it really it, it really is an overtuned item. And next patch, it's going to be better for you as, like, a prior as a melee champion. So here I'm, like, entertaining the R. And I think now I will R because it's going to hit Lux. It's going to be a beautiful angle here. Very good. Very good shutdowns. Like, obviously, I'm super ahead now. 
So we're going to do the dragon too. And this helps you get objectives as well. So I just think Blade is really overtuned. And oh, forgot to activate your W. Remember, always activate that second W. Very important. And when you Q a monster like Dragon. And whenever you use your Q on a minion or a monster camp, it pretty much makes you taunt it towards that whatever you Q. So if I Q a Raptor now and there's a Volley Bear right here, it's only going to make me attack the Raptor. That's just how it works. So if you're ever on Dragon, you don't want to get your W to pull, you know, pretty much like off. Then you just press Q on the Dragon and it focuses. Same thing with Crab. If I was to Q Crab, it's going to make me focus the Crab until it's dead. So here I want to kill the Lux. If I get on her with W, I need her in melee range though. So I just need her to be close to me. So I'm going to drop this ward. MF also no flash. These are really free targets for us to kill. So here I just have to get behind her. I do have R. We just don't know what's warded, right? So we have to play around that. The MF is a very free target, though. So I'm going to speed run myself here. <clears throat> Problem is, I think this is all warded. But I'm going to flank on Lux now. So here we have a Lux flank. So this is really good. I'm going to use my W to kind of get on her. We're just going to the Bully Bear. You see the blade is just insane damage, right? Like, it's not even close. The amount of damage you're able to do with blade is just crazy. And here we're going to see if we can get a nice MF snipe. In this situation, we aim it just directly on her, right? There's no... Here we know she has no flash. We can just use our second W to burst her down and let her bleed. Just carry it away. And I actually feel like Briar is getting much stronger. Like, she is becoming very strong. Once they nerf, like, Leandries, they're sort of toning down AD carries. I honestly, AD carries are a big problem. So next patch, I think Briar would be like, she's going to be really broken, like S tier, especially with Blade. So just really play around that, especially with your healing. You're going to be healing a lot. I mean, the go-to items, the go-to build, Blade the Ranking is extremely good. I really like Blade, Cleaver, and DD. You always want to sort of be building damage on her. Those are like your core items. Sunder Sky, of course, is still good. Sunder Sky would be sort of a... Uh, a third item maybe or fourth item it's a good fourth item so if i was to go like let's say i went blade cleaver dd sunder sky that's sort of like my full build and there are some items you can kind of like fit into this build as well like you could put a sterics in there for boots i really like free boots because i don't really like upgrading them they're very expensive usually i build upgrade them to like armor boots later this game, it looks like Merktrez would be really good or Armor Boots. So I decide on like which one I want. This guy is really low. So I have to get in W range, right? So once you get in W range, you're just going to focus him. So that's easy. Smite, Q, auto attack, W. Very simple press to attack combo. You're just going to be doing that a lot. And the ability haste is really important, right? So that's why we need to make sure our build eventually has like a lot of ability haste. The threshold for how much you need is around 40. Once you get 40 ability haze, you're going to be really, really good. Game will probably slow down a lot now because the enemy team is... Come on, like I'm, I'm 8 and 0. Like, look at my CS, right? Anywhere I go, as long as I don't like do something really dumb, like tower dive, die, whatever. All I have to do is farm a couple camps, go to the objective side. Like, Herald is the objective that is alive right now, right? So I don't want Bully Bear to get this, so I should be in this area, doing it, controlling it, or just killing whoever is here. So if Bully Bear is here, I will kill him. If he's not, let's just do the crap first. There's a fight top side. Okay. It doesn't look like a bad fight. It looks like a fight. Maybe I wanna, I wanna do something about this fight. I'm gonna go on Lux first because she's very squishy. Smite her for the movement speed. If she flashes, it's okay. Or this guy, right after, because I want to be on top of him. Q him, W next to keep my movement speed. Flash over the MF slow, because I'm going to get this next W off. She should have died of my bleed. Or Echo. And yeah, just really good fighting overall by us. Really, 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 really manage your resources. And when your W is down, you're, if you hit R, it puts you into like a pretty much a frenzy. It puts you into your W frenzy without the W bite. 
So it's really good when you use like your W initially and then you hit R and you have R going and then you have another W ready. Also, it's really good to hit R and then kill the target you're trying to kill and then W right after to have that W as well. Just very good things, really good overall. So here we have Dragon, obviously the next objective we need to be focusing on. But I, I don't think the enemy team is so... Like, I don't think the enemy team is just going to rush it, right? It's not really looking like that. So I'm going to take this time to just farm at least two camps on this side because we haven't farmed it yet. But because I'm so ahead, I'm obviously going to be a little more greedy and we're just going to do three camps. They actually are considering rushing it, which is funny. Actually not. So we have a Herald Recar, so we're going to reset. So here's the game. Here's what we're talking about with the boots we need. This game, uh, it's a Merc Trez, right? Because you can see how much crowd control they have. Merc Trez, if the enemy team is heavy AD, if the enemy team is heavy in attack damage, you would go into, you know, Death Stance. If the enemy team, honestly, this game, you could go into Sunder Sky too. But generally, it's these two items are like your go-to. The enemy team is like a little AP heavy. You can go into Sunder Sky. There isn't really a good MR item you want to buy. MR items are kind of like whatever for her. You could go Maw, but personally, I think you just focus on, you know, just getting Sunder Sky or DD. So this guy, you just want to W on him or use your W. Just do as much damage as possible here. Very, very nicely done by us. And at this point, you're pretty much a split pusher too. You're bad at taking towers because you don't really have, you know, your W doesn't work on towers. But with void grubs, you can actually take a lot of towers. But overall, you're really good at taking, you know, breaking, taking waves, right? And that's the more important thing. You just want root waves because waves will give you experience. So that's like a big thing. Here, I'm going to play for this outer. This outer gives you 600 and something gold. Very broken. If you're ever able as a jungler to get this tower, it's just very, very good. So that's something you always want to play for. Here, you want to auto attack to apply the Void Grubs. I think Lux is going to try to come on me here. Uh-oh. I may, I may have trolled it in. I should have jumped this wall here. <laughs> it would have been fine to die for that tower because it would have given me around 700 gold. But also, do I need to die with how ahead I am? Probably not. So this was like an overconfident play. The safer play I would have been kill the wave, do the dragon with my team, and then go fight after. So that's like how you, that would have been the better play. Play I did still could have been done well. If I backed up here after Lux, I should have jumped over here. I started seeing the tower getting low. I reconsidered maybe autoing it to death. Try to jump this wall. It's not that easy. Jumping this wall is possible, but you have to be in the right angle. But overall, nothing lost really. Here. I mean, I want the pickaxe, so I'm going into Death Sand, so I want to go into the item that I need. And I see a lot of people do cross map R's, but cross map R's are hard to hit. This is more realistic if I want to R him, but also this is a guy who I could just run at, so I don't have to R. I would R someone if I really have no chance to gash up to him. So here, you just W here. He can hit me with whatever he wants. Pretty much, I won't die with my W. Here, you just dodge this one and then W, and he's pretty much dead now. He's going to R. Doesn't really matter. He's dead. Right, just kind of dodge whatever you can. I think a lot of people don't know that W is a dodge, like a dash, right? So if someone, like, Lux cues me this direction, I W like this. To dodge the Lux cue before I cast W, right? It's a really, it's really good to use your W to dodge abilities and skill shots. It's very, very important to get really good on her, is to use your W as, like, the dash initially, and then you go in the straight line as the friendly. I could go for like a crazy R here. Might as well. And just don't waste your W yet. Okay, it's not going to hit. So I'm in W now. Sometimes some champions that are split pushing like a Jax. I would need my R to to fight him, right? This situation, I think I'm strong enough. It doesn't really matter. In some cases, you need it. So you have to think about that. Here is if he tries to E me, I'm just going to E him. And I pretty much kill him into the next W. Obviously, if this was I was much weaker, he was much stronger. You could see how that's if that could be a hard fight. That's why you need R for some champions like that. Who counter you in the side lane. You would really need to hit ulti to win the 1v1. But she does win it if you hit R. Because your R gives you a lot of armor and MR. Gives you more life steal, which is really important. And just overall gives you a lot of combat stats. This game, we're going to go into Sunder Sky second. If I really needed MR, you could go Spear Visage like later in the game, but 
This game, I'm just going to go into Sunder Sky. I could run bot side to fight, but like we talked about, we're supposed to, you, you want to be like a bit objective focused. So if there's a way to do Baron with like my team getting into that position, it's good to do it. But here there might be a fight around mid. So I'm going to just do the crab because crab is pretty close to me. Some gold rim. And the crab is always a lot of fun. Clear whatever word is right next to me. Probably kill this wave because this wave is pretty close to us and I want waves to be pushing away from us. Drop this ward here. I'm going to W over. You can always W walls. Remember, very important thing. I think Voli is here, so I think we should kill him. Very good angle. I think I can dive him under tower too. I'm going to R right away, just because this is one of those 1v1s that we kind of need it. Need the Poppy to stun faster. I'm pretty much flashed there to dodge the Jax stun, because I felt like if Jax hit that stun, it was a problem. I actually played that poorly by having W. Jax is a counter to Briar, so remember, not, uh, many champions aren't going to be as hard as the Jax. <clears throat> but Poppy could have maybe done something. Not a big deal. Game is in our hands, so we just have to play around, you know, Dragon and Baron. Jax is the one champion that's hard for us to kill, right? You can see, you can see why. But the build extremely broken with the DD buy, you're really good against auto attack armor. You can still get focused down, but the Sunder Sky will help. If you're having issues as well, Sterix is really good for that too, countering a lot of that burst damage. Sterix is always a safe bet at this point. Like after DD, going Sterix is always, you know, it's, it's a fine build. With Dragon up in 10 seconds, obviously we want Dragon, so. I have R in 3, 2, 1. If this guy can live for a bit longer, I will R. This is just a free R. Straight line. Two multiple champions I can hit. Very easy. Very, very simple. There's just like nothing about that, right? Like always in a straight line. Champions that are really chasing your teammate. Very easy R angle. The easiest times to always hit the R is in those windows. If you can get that window or that angle where they're, in, they're running in a straight line is really good. Fighting here is good. We just need the Darius to get that. This is pretty much a Baron angle. Jungle, if they're dead, I mean, Briar does Baron extremely fast. Plus, we have three people who also can help a lot. You don't really have to use your Q on Baron. It's only the only thing your Q does on Baron is actually give you pretty much a Baron target focus. In this situation, they don't have smite, so it's like actually not really an issue at all. They may try to fight us here, which is fine. I don't mind fighting. I'm just going whoever I can fast. I'm gonna E because I feel like I need to reset the angle. What the hell? My R went that way. Interesting. Jax wants me, but... Damn, they actually got me. Echo has... Oh. It's Ezreal. Very nice. Get him. Make, make daddy proud, Ezreal. Have to be proud. Oh, the bear. The bear is a bit of a problem. But overall, I was obviously too cocky for that. We didn't have to do that. Also, my R, I think I clicked on the minimap by accident. Sometimes if you click on... If your mouse is hovering the minimap and you press R, it will cast it wherever your mouse is. So my R, I probably put my mouse like here. So it casts my ulti there, right? So you have to watch out for that. Obviously, I have a very big mi minimap. Because you know what they say about people with big mini maps. No, I just have a big. I think this might hit, and I think it's a good angle if it hits. Damn, I thought Lux would be there. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go for the MF here. This might be a hard one. So I'm just gonna push the jocks away. Wait for my W. I think Jax is up here. I'm gonna E this one here to flash it. I'm gonna W and try to heal up on the cross. I still have R, so I can R here if I need it to hit. Oh my god. The Lux Binding. I, I am playing it poorly a bit later in the game. This is definitely not ideal. Playing a bit too overly aggressive. I I should slow down a bit. Played it more casual. Hit R's. Play around. Avoid going too deep, right? Like, I am still getting focused on. Sun Sky will be a big improvement, though. Does the team have a chance to win? Not really. We do counter them later in the game, too. But their champs are annoying. You can see we're, like... You can get over like one CC ability like the Lux Binding can lead to like a lot of other stuff hitting you, even with the Merc Chest. That's why tenacity from the Sterics would have been really good. And also, that's what I'm going to be building. I'm going to go for the Sterics. MR is really not that important in this game. So, the Sterics is pretty much your MR item in this game. And, big mistake you'll see yourself ending up doing is just overly dot like diving too deep, as you can see from this game. So if I was to change my build this game, I probably would have gone Sterix third instead of, you know, DD and maybe Sunder or Sunder Sky third as well. That that could have been a good one. Hitting R here, I would probably get CC to death. Hard to say though. We say the Jax is a problem. But the Cho'Gath is someone who can we just one shot. And here I'm going to do the third dragon just to secure the objective before you want to play crazy. Like if you want to go do something crazy and die, just do the dragon and then go for it, right? You don't want to give them the chance to get the dragon off of your stupid play, which I think I'm a, I'm probably going to do something dumb right now. So I just want to make sure I got the dragon before I cast on here. I think if she, if I R, she's going to run. So I'm going to R in a way. Damn, she actually had that ready. Lux is a problem too, so you have to watch out for her. Though her binding being down now is actually good. Very good. But do I want to dive deep and not something red? You can see it's harder to hit R as the higher rank you are. Also, it's hard to hit ulti when the person... Oh my god. Has vision on you, which is going to be a big thing that occurs. Oh my god, the true damage. I was hoping my team was going to back me up there, but they were on a bit of their own mission. Not much we can do about that. Your E does not block true damage, right? So you have to remember that. Your E is not going to be good against true damage. This Echo's a bit of a beast for it, though. But don't forget, who did everything early game? Who did everything to get this team into the position that they're dominating? If it wasn't for your boy Inori, the Briar, the Toes, you would not be in this position at all. So don't forget, the Toes is the reason. The Briar. It is the reason we're even in a winning position, because I've played the map flawlessly. Whatever mistakes you make later in the game, just blame it on AD Carry being too OP, because I played the game perfectly. Up until that Herald thing. After that, we obviously start to make more mistakes. But adjusting your build is important based off the game, right? I think Sterox would have been much better, especially with how I was playing. I was building more for like isolated fights with like 1v1 and stuff like that. Team is not AD focused enough for me to get a, get away with an early death stand. So I would say uh, Sterox or Sunder Sky would have been more effective. If they go deep, I will R. But if they're not really fighting yet, I'll save my ulti. But again, because we did Dragon before we died, there isn't really any opportunity for the enemy team to do anything. So we are in a good position. 
We did first pick Briar, so there's always opportunities for people to kind of counter you. We should check Baron before we run away. I do. I will kill Cho'Gaff very easily. Remember, the Blade and King build is just. I'm gonna R here just to start the fight. I'm gonna E now. Damn. The Poppy R literally destroyed me in that fight. Like, I was gonna kill the Jax, but the Poppy R jacks away, and then I had no one to go with my R. Yeah, that's a bit unlucky there. I would have killed Jax's cash off the Poppy supports are so missed. Ezreal should just go and help the Darius, I guess. You should fight alone. Oh, Ooh, there it is. Oh my God. The blade is essential though. You can see the power of the blade. Never ending, never dying. I do have R up, but that means comp is very annoying for me to go in. There's a lot of things I have to avoid. Some things my teammates are hurting me with too as well. We could do Baron. It's a good Baron angle because the enemy jungle and top are dead. Those are two prime targets. That could cause issues. I mean, I have smite up. Smite does 1200. Not that difficult to you know, just, you know, smite it pretty much. Go on, go on the Lux afterward, hit the kill down. He's really big, so big targets like that very easy to hit. Damn, if I got that Cho'Gath kill, I would have healed. MFR is just unbelievably annoying for me. I think they will want to fight here if they do fight. You just have to go for it. Killing the jocks always a very a favorite. Mm. Mm. Or, oh okay. This game will go in Sterics. I should have gone Sterics earlier. It would have been really powerful to go into Sterics. Here, we, there's no reason to sell and buy it because DD is still an extremely important item. The build, once we get Sterics, it will be a noticeable difference. You can see the burst have been, has been an issue for me this game. Being bursted down. A big problem that can occur to you. So Sterics buy is very, 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 very good. And just being able to live you, keep you alive. Mm, I do have R up, so I want to R I can. This isn't really much though for me to R yet. Max is dead, so this could be a good R angle. I really need to hit R on prime targets. So I'm just going to shoot it this way. Might hit someone else too. I'm going to go on Cho here. That is bad again. I am running it, man. Okay, we cannot go in. MF is a problem. Who just presses R on us and we just get absolutely destroyed because of it. We do need to hit the R. We need to not get MF R'd. So going in without knowing where MF is is a big mistake that we need to focus up on. Damn, the cutdown has done a lot of damage. Press the attack as well as done a lot. Sunder Sky didn't really do much. We should have went to the Sterics earlier. Would have gave us better value. Problem is this comp is really hard to even get autos off. I'm just gonna chain CC. And not in the way that like 
like I can even do anything with tenacity. Like I'm getting knocked up a lot. I'm blinded. This is an okay R angle, but the enemy team is already kind of dead. I think he wins that anyway. Darius is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I honestly kind of messed up a lot later in the game, but the work you do as a jungler is more about the early to mid game. Do not R in the way. Let me hit him. Remember, you can W to kind of avoid things like that. <clears throat> oh, it's GG. Well done. Oh my god, the finale! There's an MFR. Oh, too bad. Oh, I feel so bad, guys. Oh, and Briar did it all, baby. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one. Good luck on the game and good luck on the climb.